welcome to Abstract Bus. My name is Ashley and today I am going to be covering up a piece of resin artwork that I just do not like. And so I'm going to walk you guys through the steps it takes to cover up a piece of work of resin with another layer of resin because it's not as simple as pouring right on top. So if that's something that interests you, stay tuned. Oh, and stay tuned for the big announcement at the end. I can't wait to tell you. You want to make sure you sand, sand, sand. Sand that piece of work as much as possible, scratch it up, and then wash that off. And that is how you prep if you get bubbles, if you find a hair, if you find a fly in your resin that happened to get in somehow. Yes, that has happened to me. <laughs> Anything you find left over in your resin the next day after it's cured, you've got to sand it. Sand, 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 sand. And then once you wash it off, now you're ready to begin your pour. So here's what I'm doing. I'm mixing up my two part epoxy resin, the resin and the hardener. Now I have all my cups and my colors and everything ready. And when I do my resin artworks, I like to start with the stone coat base coat because it's an oil based paint. And so when the pigments flow on top, when you're swiping things or when you're pushing it over top or blowing it with a heat gun, anything that you're trying to do, if you're putting it on top of that base coat, that base coat helps to create those cells. So that's why I love to start with the base coat. And so I mixed up enough of the white and then I have, I'm working with my Patty's Pigments, the pumpkin, uh, which to me is like a coral. It's really pretty. I have a, a brand new dark blue. That one is midnight blue. Uh, they just sent that one to me. So I wanted to try that one out. And then I have just the normal, uh, what one was this one? Crystal Sapphire. And then I have the light purple, which is, oh, all this is right behind me. There it is. Then I have the wisteria. So those are the colors that I use from Patty's Pigments. Now, if you guys are interested in saving money, which I always am, you guys can look in the description below for my coupons for Patty's Pigments and Stone Coat as well. So that way you guys can save some money and get some quality products. All right, so the next thing that I'm doing is I'm taking all these colors that I've already mixed up now and I'm just lining them up so that way I can swipe them over top of the base coat. And it's really simple. I'm taking it with a popsicle stick, wiping the popsicle stick so that way I'm not dragging all that resin everywhere else. And then I just do another swipe. And I'm trying to separate the colors at first, but then I decided I didn't like that separation. So I decided to um, put some more purple and blue and swipe it over the other side. Now, I also got some amazing mica pigments from Karen at PicassoCountertops.com. And she ended up sending these to me for free just so I can play with them. She said they work really well with alcohol inks and I was super excited to get them. So I wanted to give a really big shout out to her. Thank you so much for thinking of me and sending those to me because they turned out to be the coolest thing on this project. Now, um, with the mica pigments, they were, really were just as easy as she said. You just put some alcohol ink. I rubbed them in with my glove, uh, so that way the, you know, the alcohol ink kind of spread over evenly. And then um, I just broke it apart and kind of made it look like scales. And then I just set that in the line and tried to add some more lines. I don't like just having that linear effect straight through something usually, unless it's off-centered. So this one, since it kind of started to center too much, I decided to do some sideways, like crazy lines, and I absolutely loved them. I thought they turned out fantastic. So after laying in the mica pigments, that's when I took my chunky glass glitter that I get from Michaels, and I just sprinkled that along the side just to get a little extra something something.
here is I decided to um, actually use a little bit of the treadmill lubricant and use that as my like resi blast. And I used a little bit of that to be able to make the resin react and show a little bit of what was underneath. The reason I did decide to do this instead of just covering up the piece completely was because the colors that turned out on the piece underneath were kind of a corally red. And so I thought that they actually would have added to this piece and I think that they still did. The only thing I have to do now, of which I still have not done just because of my schedule, um, is doing a clear coat on top. So when I do that, I'll sand the parts that don't have texture just to give them some grit. And then I can add that clear coat on top and that piece will be done. So here's a really good look at the art piece. I do want to point out those little divots right here. And there's another one right down here. That was because, oh, let's see if the light, there it goes. That was because of the silicone. And I like, I love having those in there a lot. I think it actually looks really cool. It brought some of that um, color back into it and matches in other areas. So that is why I did that. You guys can see the small, little glass glitters that I have lined along the mica flakes. Look at that, it's just so cool. Uh, but I don't want the texture to be on this trivet. So what I'm gonna do is that solid piece. Now to make sure that everything is nice and clean on this area, I do wanna make sure to clean it with alcohol um, after I sand it down. But there's just hints of everything in here, so I'll try to get a close up for you guys right here. And that's about it. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. All right, you guys ready for that big announcement? Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? I'm ready. Okay, so I know if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I now have prints. Prints, 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 yay. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Actually, let me grab one, I'll show you. All right, so they do come rolled up so I've been trying to like unroll it, but here's the draft. I have not framed it yet. You can choose to buy the front frame, the, the front framed, the print framed. <laughs> you can choose to buy the print framed if you want it already pre-stretched out and nice and flat and everything. It is hard card stock. Like it is really good quality. I was super happy with these. I didn't tell anyone about them until they came in because I wanted to make sure that they were the best quality before I recommended them to you guys. I love them. I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on these. I have my animals. Um, I will consider doing some of the abstract pieces, the bigger ones like this one that I just did and spreading that into a print. Um, maybe though, that's kind of like, something I'm probably gonna do a little bit further down the road, but you can get my animals right now. And um, the lioness, you can get a metallic print. You can kind of see that. The reflection of the light, like legit, is because it's metallic there. Um, so this one does not come rolled up. I am going to give one of these away because I have two of them. I accidentally ordered two, that was my fault. So one of them I'm going to give away because average 10,000 subscribers because you guys are amazing and so this pretty girl Queen Nefertiti is going to go to one lucky winner so make sure you stay tuned for the announcement when I do my 10k video I'm just waiting on my YouTube play button to get in um, so that way I could do a really cool pour on top that's my like 
surprise 10K. So if you're listening to this part, you already know the surprise, yay! But um, yes, you'll get to see it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited. And there are so many things coming up in this channel that I really, really hope you guys get on board with because it's gonna be amazing, life altering, art altering, amazing. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you love the colors, or if you just wanna see some different colors on my channel, totally always down for that. Y'all see how many colors of different things I have. I'm a very colorful person. So put in that request if you'd like. I don't mind, I will add it to my list and keep going. I got lots of animal pieces coming up and I'm gonna do some more geodes coming up because I know y'all love those and a couple things that are surprises getting thrown in there. So that's it. I'm gonna stop talking. I love you all. I'm so appreciative for each and every one of you for choosing to subscribe to my channel and give me that time of day and to watch my videos. I hope you guys all have an amazing week ahead of you. Bye everyone.